Whether you're looking for answers to specific life questions or seeking to become the best version of you possible, welcome to the Mental Breakdown and Psych Reg podcast, where we offer insight, information, and strategies based upon research and years of practice as clinical psychologists. So sit back, have a listen, and get connected with our hosts, Dr. Bernie Wilkinson and Dr. Richard Marshall. Welcome back. Richard, it's a new week, a new day. Well, a new day, a new week. It's a new... And no storms. And no storms. Well, that not, we know of. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, I did see a, uh, there's a new tropical storm out there. Tropical Named? storm Maria, I want to say. I-J-K. L- Who's L? I don't know. I don't know. K went to Mexico. I can't keep up with all of them, but I, I, I saw something um, okay. on Facebook. I think it was not on the right. news, but so it could have been a fake something. Fake, fake. <laughs> it Eric. could be fake news. Okay. Um, so, but yeah. So I didn't. I, I don't think we have anything. But it was. It's hot outside now. Is it? You said yeah. it was hot yesterday. We you had practice. We had soccer practice for much of yesterday, and mm-hmm. uh, woo. Hot. It was hot. I was inside was most bright. of yesterday cleaning the inside of my house from the hurricane. Um, oh. The upheaval, I guess, mm-hmm. is the best. It was good to be ever. outside, but it was it was hot. You look healthy. Your color's good. Look, I look pasty because I'm well, not working I inside. Anything. Inside folk. Right. So. That's uh, right. <laughs> uh-huh. um, so, but today... We're not going to talk about the weather. We're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about this very interesting article from a another source that I uh, am not familiar with, but it's called Task and Purpose. Yeah, I I like this. It seems site. to be very military mm-hmm. based, right? But mm-hmm. it, it's it's important because you know we, we we try to plan out what we're going to talk about All on right. our podcast, and one of the things that we got to get we need to improve upon. Is being one? prepared <laughs> one of the things. Oh, one of the many. One of the many things right. that we need to improve upon is the idea that, you know, we have, th- th- there are different months dedicated to different things. Right. And, and also, mm-hmm. September, one of the things about September is that it is Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. There are, there are two important things being recognized right. in September. One, and I didn't. Uh, one is suicide prevention, suicide awareness. Suicide, yeah, suicide prevention, prevention awareness. awareness. Um, and the other is substance, substance abuse. abuse awareness. Mm-hmm. Um, and so there, there are two topics here that we mm-hmm. we, sh- we might want to spend right. some time on. Yeah. Uh, so in September. And and speaking of that, you know, we are, <laughs> it's funny, not funny, but it's interesting that because we had planned that next week for right. for this for the next week, the last week of September, we're going to focus on substance mm-hmm. abuse and. We have a very interesting interview set up uh, for that week. Um, we didn't know until uh, just recently that it was Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. So, right. you know, we got to we got to do better with that. Uh, I need to get like a printout or we something. We need a calendar of some type that yeah. tells us these. Things. I'm sure that there's there are those out there, but well, anyways. We can... So we're going to talk a little bit about that today because this this article. From Task and Purpose, mm-hmm. uh, it's entitled "Ending the Stigma Around Mental Illness and Suicide Starts right. with Speaking Up," and it's a it's a beautifully written piece uh, about from written by a woman, uh, Megan Smith. That's right, and she's talking about the suicide of her brother, right. a, a military veteran. Right. It's well written, and it's written by somebody who's had a, a unfortunate um, personal experience mm-hmm. with suicide. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so. We're going to talk a little bit about that today, and uh, and hopefully, you know, right. get people thinking about things a little bit. Because and, and what's fascinating, and and I guess we stumbled upon this accidentally because I was looking for, I came across it because it was talking a little bit about the use of social media mm-hmm. uh, for ending the stigma, and we've been talking about that over the past couple of weeks. Right. And again, it was just another one of those articles that came up from a recent that was recently published. That we thought would be really interesting to talk right. about, and then as we get into it, you know, she mentions that it's Suicide Prevention Awareness Month, and it's mm-hmm. like, ah, we missed it again. Missed it again, right? So, so, so we'll keep track. We'll keep better track of this. A- absolutely. So the the link to the article is in the show notes. So definitely, mm-hmm. definitely, definitely get in there and, and read the article. It's it's again very well written, but she talks about her brother, and the he, he was. 
he, he was a military veteran. Uh, right. he, he had been off to war. Served and in he Iraq. Came back. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and some of the... In the news, we hear about the um, most active parts of the war, the active city. So we mm -hmm. begin to recognize certain names. Mm -hmm. like, um, Fallujah was mm -hmm. one of the names that comes up. And he happened to be at two of those hottest right. spots. Um, I have uh, not friends, but children of friends mm -hmm. um, who have deployed to Iraq. And they were in quiet places and were there for a, for a year and never mm -hmm. saw any action. They, yeah. they did other things and they never saw any action. And we don't hear about those places. But mm -hmm. this particular uh, brother, her mm -hmm. brother, was in two of the most active yeah. um, uh, war zones right. um, in Iraq. So he uh, presumably saw lots of action. Right. Yeah, so. absolutely. And, you, you know, the, the thing that we have to to remember is that when we think about PTSD, we often think about military veterans, right. which is um, appropriate because it was originally talked about it or originally proposed mm -hmm. as primarily a condition that was experienced by people who had been to war. And we, we have uh, writings about mm -hmm. PTSD-like things dating right. back from probably even the Revolutionary War, even before. Since Roman times. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure that every soldier right. experienced uh, these traumatic right. emotional events. Right, yeah. because they, they they just called it different things, like shell shock and battle fatigue, battle fatigue and right. things like that. I mean, it was well recognized in World War II. In fact, mm -hmm. there's that famous scene mm -hmm. from Patton uh, mm -hmm. where he strikes a soldier mm -hmm. who was um, struggling with with um, PTSD. Right. And, uh, and, and that was historically meant much of the way that we handled it in that we, you just suck it up. Right. Be a man is what they would say. And, and which is a, a very insulting thing to say to right. somebody. And the World but, War II veterans had PTSD. Mm -hmm. They struggled with it, but they struggled in silence. Right. You know, Tom Brokaw wrote that wonderful book, mm -hmm. uh, The mm -hmm. Greatest Generation. They were also the silent generation. Right. They suffered in silence right. for years and years and years. Many and we, still. And many still do. And we don't really, I don't know of really good data mm -hmm. on the suicide rates of World War II veterans. Right. Although I had uncles who served in World War II, mm -hmm. and I know that they struggled. My mother has told me stories, and, and as she has described things, I mean, clearly it was PTSD. Right. You just didn't talk about it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I think that, you know, speaking of, of, of PTSD and, and suicide, the, the numbers are astounding. So I was surprised by, right. by the numbers. So she mentions in this, this article... And it is very difficult to get clean, accurate numbers right. mm -hmm. uh, for, mm -hmm. for a variety of reasons. But one of the, 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 the statistics that she cited <clears throat> suggests 44,000, 40, over 44,000 right. people in the United States commit suicide every year. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's 122 a day. Right. Of those 122 a day, 20, according to the statistics that she offered... Right. 20 are 20 veterans. veterans. Right. Mm -hmm. So one in six. They're disproportionately represented right. in that sample. Isn't suicide, hasn't it become the leading cause of death among teenagers? It's the leading cause second only to um, accidental. Oxi accident, accidental. Auto accidents mm -hmm. and, and injuries. Right. Accidental it is injuries. second. Mm -hmm. Second cause mm -hmm. of death. Um, 122 per day is an alarming number. It is. Um, and 20 veterans a day, any would be too many. Right. I mean, um, you know, when we talk about, I, I uh, had to pick some, no, I dropped my daughter off at the airport mm -hmm. on um, Thursday. Right. She was flying out of town. Dropped her off. As you leave the airport, there's a large sign that says, thank you veterans mm -hmm. for your service. Um, we see it celebrated in many ways on TV and in media and everything. But, but if 20 per day are committing suicide, we're missing something somewhere. Right. Um, right. And th that's, that was the most alarming thing to me, mm -hmm. was I had seen the sign on Thursday, and then I read this. And um, we're obviously missing something. Right. Um, right. Something's happening because 20 a day is just right. unacceptable. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And she talks about, and, and again, this is sort of what drew us to this to begin with, 
is the idea that we really, that this stigma of mental illness and, mm-hmm. and suicide specifically is so pervasive in our society, the in stigma. our culture, the, the stigma, stigma is, right. that it, it, it's almost, I don't even know what the word is that I'm looking for. It, it, it's, well, you said unacceptable. It's unacceptable that we're not doing anything about that. Right, right. That, that, and that's the part that bothers me is that when they, when they re-enter, our, the veterans from Vietnam were shabbily treated. Right. We, we all acknowledge that. It wasn't the soldiers. Mm-hmm. It, wasn't, it wasn't their fault. It was the military leadership, mm-hmm. c- civilian and military leaders who created that, that mess, that mm-hmm. war. Um, but the soldiers were, were treated shabbily. And mm-hmm. as a nation, we said, let's never do that again, right. which is a good thing. Right. Okay, that, that part's good. But we're missing something. When th- they said that this woman wrote this article and said her brother would have to wait for hours mm-hmm. to get to right. see a psychiatrist or a psychologist, that's simply unacceptable. Right. These boys, and they're boys, uh, young men shouldn't have to wait ten minutes right. when they need this yeah. kind of assistance. So you know you don't know whether it's a matter of political will or right. financial resources or what it is. But whatever the problem is, right. let's find out what it is and let's solve it. Well, These guys don't deserve to struggle anymore. Yeah, and I and I think that what's really frustrating is that you know, and again, this is not a political show. We don't right. we don't talk no. politics a lot on here. Mm-hmm. However, I'm not going to break that. Uh, Right. Track record here, except to say, you know, when we think about the opportunities or the, the, the various options that have been proposed by some of the politicians as it relates to health care. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I think that I, I would really implore people to to look at the disparity between physical health and mental health. Mm-hmm. There There is such right. a disparity in the way in which our insurance companies and insurance coverage supports patients and and just citizens Mm -hmm. as it relates to mental health issues as compared to what they do for physical health issues. Mm -hmm. You see how I'm dancing? I'm being very... It's a moral issue. It's not a political issue. It takes political will to solve it. Right. But this is a moral issue. Right. Uh, Clearly. But we get so... we're, We're so... You know, when we think about... You know the criticisms that people say about healthcare systems from other places in the world, and they say, "Oh well, they have to wait so long. They have to, you know, they can't see a specialist right away, or they can't do this, or they can't do that." I would again implore you to to look at some of the information and statistics as it relates to access to mental health services mm-hmm. here in the United States. It is unacceptable. Right. I mean, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm, de- I'm being careful. We have, here, here in our area, just as an example, we don't live in a very rural area. I mean, we, we yeah. live right in between Tampa two. and Orlando, two of the biggest, two, two of the biggest cities and areas in, in, in Florida. Right. We and are, for, in a sense, a bedroom suburb right. of those cities. For, if I, we want to refer someone to see a psychiatrist, mm-hmm. for example... It's my understanding from everyone that I've talked to, every psychiatrist that I've att- attempted to contact, right. they are scheduling into December and January Next right year, now. into 2018. Right. That's right. Mm-hmm. If you can find one. If you can find one that's taking new patients. Right. That's right. Because some are not taking new patients. And, the, and many of those that are scheduling into December and January don't take insurance. Right. Which um, many of them are, you, you know, only serve certain populations so they only you know work with people who have particular mm-hmm. complaints or com- particular concerns or issues right. um and most of them don't see children that's right mm-hmm. so it's unacceptable I, we're going to keep going to that word right <laughs> it's it's it's, it's so it's frustrating. an interesting time because this week but this is what i think that this is what really fuels the stigma. Yeah. This, just full disclosure, oh. this week, Bernie Sanders mm-hmm. mentioned, wrote, 
raised the question again of a single payer healthcare system. Mm -hmm. So we are not advocating any change. It's not our. We're not advocating that we change the healthcare system. Right. Okay. We're not talking about that. This is, and you're right. This isn't a political show. Right. It's not a political diatribe. We're not making any suggestions to anybody yet. Um, though we do have opinions, right? But our opinions are not. It's not a political philosophy. It is a moral philosophy. Because, our opinion is based upon what we see as right. people as service providers in the field. That's right. There are people who need psychological and psychiatric services who cannot get them mm -hmm. because of the way our healthcare system is structured. It's mm -hmm. that simple. Right. Um, it, it's either not. It's like you can't get dental insurance. I mean, you can right. buy it, but it doesn't buy. It doesn't buy you right. very much. Okay. Um, and it's the same with mental health coverage. Mm -hmm. If you can get it, if your policy even has mental health coverage. Uh, it's very expensive, right. okay? Right. And so so we're not talking about any of that. We're just saying as a, it's a moral obligation mm -hmm. that we ask these young men and women to risk their lives to go overseas, and sacrifice families and sacrifice everything, and then to come home and have anything less than superior, superb care. Mm -hmm. We're just talking about the veterans now. Right. There's 122 people a day who are committing suicide. But let's just talk about the veterans. For, and we do right. owe them. Yeah. I mean, we've, we've asked them, there's a contract um, that we sign with them that mm -hmm. if you do this, we will do this. Right. I mean, that's the understanding. And anything less is simply unacceptable. Absolutely. Uh, I don't care what the cost is. It's not a cost issue. Anything less is unacceptable. And there's something, there's something broken in this system mm -hmm. if 20 a day are committing suicide. Right. And, and if you think about, well, you know, this, this is... We could go on and talk about this uh, at for we might. hours, but the, the 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 I think that what we fail to recognize is that while if one person commits suicide, that suicide affects mm -hmm. fifty other people, hundred other people. That's right. You know, the, it's not just one in this individual. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, we think about you know the, this travesty. Of when a when a teenager commits suicide, right. um, and when a teenager commits suicide, every student in the school is affected by that. Everybody's affected, and and so then we have so we have sort of this um, it's almost logarithmic increase mm -hmm. in mental health issues, not necessarily mental illness, but mental health issues. People who need to talk to somebody to process that right. loss, that that event, mm -hmm. and they just don't. They're just they're not there. available. Right. That's you know, right. it, we, mm -hmm. they just can't find that support. Mm -hmm. And and again, I'm going to go back to the fact that I think that it's my perspective that this is what contributes to the stigma. Right. You know, things things that are devalued in our society are things that are seen as things that we should stay away from. Mm -hmm. So if we don't if we don't value mental health enough to say, hey, we need to get people help. We need to make sure that you know, these services are available to people, then people are, I mean, it's by its very nature, people are going to say that must not be a very important thing. Right. You know, people who need those services must be this or they must be that. Mm -hmm. And that's not me. So right. I'm not going to go get that help. Right. I, psychologically, that makes sense. Right. To me. And once again, we have to remember that we're talking about the 20 who, who uh, successfully complete a suicide. Right. How many mm -hmm. are contemplating? Yeah. How many have attempted and failed? Um, and what other problems are they dealing with? Right. You know, we don't we don't have any. Yeah. I don't know where the data would. I, I yeah. suppose the VA would have some data, yeah. but not all these men are accessing VA services. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. There's a there's a wonderful song we we we've listened we've listened to it a couple times before. Yeah called um, Hero of War mm -hmm. by, I yeah. think the name of the group is Rise Against. I'll put a link to the YouTube video in the show notes, but yeah. it, it, it's, it's a very, it, it, be careful watching the video. It's a music video, it's a, um, right. but it's, you know, he, they're talking about this very issue. This issue. Right. And, and it's, it's so, it, it's such a big thing that I, I think that we don't talk about it enough. And, and, and I, I regret that we didn't see that this was suicide awareness, right. suicide prevention awareness month earlier, so we yeah, could we, we could dedicate more time. We, we've talked about suicide 
a lot over the past couple of months because of 13 reasons why and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But I think that, you know, this serious discussion is needed to, and I wish that maybe we need to think about getting a, a politician or somebody on the, on the show that we can interview that can talk more about some of these healthcare things. I, I'm guessing that most of us have been touched by a suicide. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that we have, I mean, yeah. have friends who, who have. I, um, one of the things that I appreciate about the way this uh, woman mm-hmm. uh, wrote about this is we all think of what could we have done? Right. What did we miss? Mm-hmm. And the recurring theme in her uh, article is the, this notion that there were a hundred things we saw and there mm-hmm. were a hundred things we missed. Right. So while you have these uh, warning signs right. that somebody might even be considering it, um, she said they're very helpful, mm-hmm. but uh, you're still going to miss things. Right. And, and, um, and, and I like the fact that she sort of absolves us mm-hmm. of that guilt right. when she says, look, nobody was closer to this than we were. Mm-hmm. In fact, her brother was getting a degree in social work Mm -hmm. so that he could help. He was already helping others to prevent suicide. So this was the last person that you would suspect would want to commit, would, would, would carry out uh, an act like this. But she, in this writing, she sort of absolves us of that guilt and says, instead, this is what we should be doing. And that's what I really appreciate that the value of this article is on the one hand, she offers us absolution. It's not our, we're all missing it. Right. Here's the solution. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and one of the things she talks about, again, that I really like, and it goes along with some of the things we've talked about over the last couple of weeks, is she talks about the importance of social media when it That's comes right. to that. You That's know, right. It's that immediate feedback that mm-hmm. you can get from people um, as it relates to some of these issues. That's and right. if you could find somebody who you can talk to mm-hmm. about some of these issues, right. then it helps or it, it helps relieve some of the stress and pressure and and and, and everything from, from that's right that. and there is that website that the woman bell um who who was uh, working in suicide prevention and she ended up committing suicide and now there's, oh, a, yeah, there's col- a semicolon semicolon right yeah. the semicolon project um and again, as you say, this is a valuable use of social media. Mm-hmm. This is one of the ways to get mm-hmm. the word out. Right. Uh, this is a, a, a useful way, yeah. um, a positive way to use social media. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so if you or, or somebody you know is struggling with some of these things, I'm going to include in the show notes links to you know phone numbers that you can call to get uh, acute mm-hmm. help, um, suicide prevention hotlines, and things like that. Right. Uh, we'll, we'll include some links to different uh, resources um, as it relates to suicide prevention so that you can access that and get some of the help that you need. And of course, we're always here. Um, We're working on, uh, it just never comes fast enough, but we're working on a few things, hopefully to to fill some of these spaces Mm -hmm. that are are left in in the needs of of people. Yeah, because the the list, the warning signs, Mm -hmm. that's the one thing that always pops up. It's very, very helpful Mm -hmm. uh, to have the warning signs. But there's there's a considerable amount of, there's a lot of other information that is valuable, including links to other resources. And she talks about that in the article, is that there's a number of ways to get the word out. Um, And let's use all of them. And certainly if listeners have anything to add to this, we. Uh, send it to us yeah. and we'll make sure it gets posted. Yeah. yeah. Um, so absolutely. Now we, you know, our, our responsibility or what we've taken on as our responsibility from the beginning of doing our podcast is to work, to get as much information out for mm-hmm. people as possible to talk about things in ways that make sense to people. Um, so, you know, we want to keep reaching more and more people. So mm-hmm. if you happen to listen to us on iTunes and, and right. you know, please, write a review or, or give a rating or something because that increases our uh, presence Visibility on iTunes. Presence, right. um, mm-hmm. If you listen to us in any other format, yeah. you know, share us with your friends and, and encourage others to, to subscribe and listen. Again, not, not sp- so specifically for self-promotion for us or anything like that, but we want more people talking about these things and, right. and we want more people to 
to understand what's going on and what services are available and what's mm -hmm. out there. Um, so w whether you listen to us as a podcast or on YouTube, uh, that's why we're trying to get this stuff out to as many people in, a, in as many formats as possible. Right. Uh, please share us, uh, subscribe, uh, comment, uh, rate, you know, all of that stuff and uh, so that other people can find us too. Right. Yeah, let's get it out. Get yeah. the word out. Yeah. We're going to we've got a lot of things coming up because we're going to we're going to we want to keep building this mm -hmm. and uh so and it's growing. Let us know what's um, working, what you like yeah. and what you don't like about this. Right. I asked my family the other day. I said, "You have to watch these things and let me know, you know, what mm -hmm. what you do and what you don't like." You know what they told me? What? This glasses thing that I do is very distracting. Where did you hear that before? I think somebody has said it. <laughs> somebody here? Somebody that somebody is wearing a green shirt? Ah, you know. So, all right. Well, now let us know. Um, absolutely. Yeah, it's not, it's really not self-promotion. Right. No. We want to expand the mm -hmm. audience. We want to get this information out. Yeah. It's not, we're not selling anything. I mean, that's, right. that's the iron. We're not selling anything, but we want to get the inf this kind of information to as many people yeah. as we can. Yeah. And um, it helps if you tell others right. and let others know that we exist and let it spread that way. Right. Um, and we'll get the word to more people. Right. Um, and if there's something more that we should be doing or something we should be doing differently, let us know by yeah. all means. Yeah, we, we are looking for, uh, we are looking at some, what is it, advertising types of opportunities right. simply to, well, this takes a lot of time. Pa <laughs> to pay somebody to do the technical work that we right. have to do ourselves. To, to keep it improving. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. And to, and yeah. to to make it grow is, is going to take more time. Yeah. So. Yeah. We've got, yeah. The, yeah. Some of the ideas but we're not we selling have. jewelry or knives or copper kettles or um, anything, uh, vacuum cleaners. We're not, we're not selling anything. We Did you say copper kettles? Yeah. That there's this copper cookware that's become very popular now on TV of uh, advertising. Fantastic. So anyway, that, we're so. not selling anything. <laughs> we're not. No, so. we're just trying to get information out in, in the, in the most accessible way possible. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, share to us. the most people we can. Share us and, and work with us to, to help end the stigma and to, to get rid of it. So. Right. Both mental health and suicide awareness. Absolutely. So. That's it for today. Until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and forget to be afraid. Thank you.